Hello party people, I need to run to Costco. I need food for my family, again, I know. So while I'm there, I'm going to see if they have anything new, I'll share all of that with you, and then of course, a pretty massive grocery haul is what I'm expecting. I'm gonna go to Costco and Publix. We are like bare bones over here. We definitely need some food. I feel like we ate the last of our vegetables last night. Also, I'm festive, check out my Christmas vest. It's pretty amazing if you ask me. Also, before we head out, I wanna share with you something I've been loving, Ritual Vitamins. I think it's important to share this in a grocery haul. Huge thanks to Ritual for sponsoring this video and supporting me. It's been a couple of years now. And of course, massive thanks to you for being amazing and supporting me when I have sponsored content. I've been using Ritual Vitamins for, I don't know, at least a couple of years now, and I adore them. They have prenatals, they even have protein powder now, they have vitamins for kids, for men, for teens, for adults. This is a multivitamin. What I love about it is that they have nine traceable ingredients in the women's multivitamin. There's no artificial colors or synthetic fillers, which I love. Another thing that I love about them is that they smell amazing. The, the prenatal has a lemony tab and the multivitamin has like this peppermint. Oh, it's like a treat every time I take my vitamins in the morning. Love that. They are vegan, if that's important to you. They are also gluten and free of the major allergens, which is awesome. I think it's important for me to share my multivitamin in a grocery haul like this because I take a multivitamin to fill in the gaps in my diet. You guys know I like vegetables. I also love brownies, so I'm sure there are ways that I can be better about putting nutrients in, into my body, and Ritual is great about filling in the gaps. It's got omega-3s for brain health, vitamin D, magnesium for bone health, it's blood building with the iron and folate, it's got vitamin E, great for that antioxidant support. So I'll encourage you to check out their website. If you wanna get 10% off of your first three months, you can use my link below, ritual.com slash thewads10 and my code, the wads 10 And if you order Ritual, I hope you love them as much as I do. Let's head to Costco and stock up on some food. I may be wearing the world's most amazing sweater, but I forgot my purse at home. Oh, that's a great start to the day. It's gonna probably be a very long line. I know I can get like a pass, like have them print me out something, okay. And I can do Apple Pay on my phone, so hopefully my phone doesn't die. Fingers crossed. Okay, I got my temporary card. It was pretty painless. They have these on a pretty good deal. Normally $280 on sale for $200. <gasps> Hold on, is this a karaoke? No, all weather speaker. Boring $140. A puzzle of Costco? Look at all those shoppers. That's hilarious. $10. That's a good gag gift. They have a whole wall of poinsettias for the holiday season. $14 for that, it's massive, great deal. I'm trying to look for Christmas gifts. Oh, whoa, I didn't look at the price of this one. It's normally 130 on sale for 109. Uh, it is a garden. Will it prevent me from having a black thumb? People are like, grow tomatoes, it's so effortless. Uh, I killed tomatoes before they could even bloom. This is $50. I know that's a that's a good gift too. Oh, steam and iron. Whoa, hold on. $35. See, I just found one at the max for, I don't know, I wanna say like $10. This is $100. I feel like it's a madhouse today and I'm in everyone's way. Isn't that how it always is? Anyway, this looks pretty cool. It You can control your temperature with your phone. Oh, of course it's with your phone. I think that's that's a good gift for someone who loves a warm drink. This is always a great gift too. I have one of these, use it like twice a year. Was it worth it? I don't know, I bought it for my daughter. She uses it less than I do, $45. I feel like Amazon had a good deal on it the other day. This is also pretty trendy, $30. I feel like it's a great price. Speaking of trendy, are these waves back in? Oh my gosh, how hilarious. Does anyone remember this? $30 here, bringing it back to the early 2000s. First time I'm seeing this, $200 for a toddler slash twin bed you can fit in there. <gasps> what a dream. Oh my gosh, how fun is that? Could you love anything more? Hello Kitty with sprinkles. Is she a cupcake? Hilarious. $23 and this one's only $22 for the Yoda. This is forever a great gift idea. $160. It says 
a party mansion dollhouse. <laughs> That's exactly what it is. Oh, is there an elevator? Of course there is. It's a party mansion. That is amazing and actually a really great price for something. Oh, here it is in real life. That's an incredible price, $160 for something this massive. Unreal. Is it wooden or? Hey, that's solid. I think this will definitely sustain category five hurricane strength winds, right? Okay, a sleeping bag. My kids love theirs. They have one for each kid. I don't know if Meredith has one, $30 screaming deal for that. How about this? Star's Wishes tent. This is $27. And I feel like a similar tent at Target. I bought one for someone's birthday. It was a twin birthday, so my budget was up a little bit. I want to say it was like 40 bucks. Out of the corner of my eye from the dollhouse, I feel like I haven't talked about these. Probably, I don't know, it's been a long time since I bought them. But guys, these are so incredibly good. Almost $13 for a whole bag's worth of joy, okay? It is an almond covered in coconut, it's covered in chocolate. You won't regret buying these, but you will regret eating the whole bag in one sitting. I feel like I'm seeing a lot of stuff that I wanna show you. Blue, green, pink, and cream. $16 for this lacy long sleeve pullover. The details are gorgeous. And what makes a better gift than a throw blanket? These range from, these are $18 <gasps> with a foot pocket. Ooh, this is supreme. $18 for the foot pocket. A few different prints. A king blanket looks like it's $22. And then the ultimate throw. Oh my gosh, you're never gonna believe it. It's on sale right now for $12. Well, okay, there's two sales. One for nine, one for 12. You can decipher. Oh my gosh, look at that pillow back there. Hey. And then look at this. These puffy uh, jackets. These lady puffer jackets for $30. And then Christmas dresses. So sweet. Uh, and then welcome to Florida. We have swimsuits out. It is December. <laughs> and if you can believe it, during this time of year, Costco has even more books out than usual. Oh my gosh, look, the holiday books are out. That is so sweet. I feel like last year I bought so many. They also have a ton more book sets than usual. So they've got Junie B, Ivy and Bean, Magic Treehouse. Those are great. Newberries, wonderful. Uh, yeah, they have a lot of lots of books to choose from. I feel like that is a wonderful gift as well. Animal Alphabet Library. That's pretty cool. And then this Bob book set. This is, I think, all of them. $60 for all of them, 104 books, rather than buying each set individually, because I wanna say each set is at least $30. You can get all of them. Look, they're all right there. Ooh, what? That is a screaming deal. Hold up. Ooh, the human body, love books like these. But then what caught my eye, I love these white books as well. Magic School Bus, amazing. Then Frozen 2, looks like there's some toys in there, oh yes. Fun for everyone, except for mom who has to pick up the toys. <gasps> Babies! Oh, I like how it has an Etch-A-Sketch up here. I like how Woody looks like a baby. <gasps> Pete the Cat, groovy box of books. Love Pete the Cat. And then Hostess gifts. Ha Ooh, hard candies, Godiva. Whoa, that's the ultimate. Farmer's Market Hostess gift. <laughs> wow. wow, I'm not going anywhere this fancy. <laughs> Maybe I'll get it for myself, okay? Oh look, two style of baskets here. Oh my gosh, oh that that um, texture ugh, makes my skin crawl. Ugh, my whole body's cringing, it's $100. Check this out, a donut skillet? $20 for four of them. Now that is a fun gift for all your girlfriends. Too bad I don't have four girlfriends to give it to, okay? Okay, some more cookies. <gasps> I made a hot cocoa uh, board the other day. I wanted to add these, but I know my kids well, can't eat them because they have gluten and dairy, but that would be a great thing to add to a cocoa board. $7 for all of them. There, It's 40 ounces. That alone would be a gift. If I got that as a gift, I'd be like, man, thank you so much. You are my very best friend. The Stroop, Stroop Waffles, $9.59. Oh my gosh, drooling. Hold on. 
I have not been to Trader Joe's, I feel like, at all this year. But look at this holiday mingle mix. It's like the jingle jangle that they sell at Trader Joe's. But, I mean, Trader Joe's. Well, you know what? I'm going to get this. $9.59. Man, jingle jangle is so dang good. But I don't know if I'm going to have time. Do you ever do that? Just put the one down up front and then grab from the back. Somehow it's more fresh that way, right? Um, Stroop waffle. This was $9.99. What's in here? Crunchy almond. Oh, I thought that was nougat. Tis not nougat. Happy about this purchase. Not sure if my body will be happy with me later, though. Oh, I was wondering if any of this stuff would be out. Christmas gifts for the lake. $500? What does it do? Is it Chitty Chitty Bang Bang? It, like, transforms into a car as well? An automobile on the water, sir. Yeah, I'm not at that level yet. I'm sorry. Nope. This is more my budget, $30 body board. <laughs> oh my word, I saw this on Amazon, $10 for this. I don't know how much it was on Amazon. A, um, basically like a splash pad. It's 11 feet wide, it's 11 feet wide and there's three kids that far apart on it. I don't believe it. <laughs> Someone photoshopped that. <gasps> the red wagon, I love my red wagon. Hold on a second, okay, it's because it has the Bucks emblem on it. These are normally around $60, but this one is $100 because, you know, NFL. All right, hold on. This is an inflatable stand-up paddle board. <laughs> no, it's not summertime. We're just in Florida over here. It's on sale for $300, normally $400. I don't think my kids are big enough for this yet. Check this out, a tool belt for $30. That looks pretty profesh. Oh my gosh, rapid fire, quick loading power screwdriver. $25 for a screwdriver. I got mine at Ikea. I feel like it was like 10. Someone on Instagram the other day, I can't remember who, asked what their viewers' favorite things are from Costco, because I guess they just got a Costco membership. I was listing off all kinds of things, you guys know. These cakes are unbeatable. $13, are you kidding, for a cake? Come on, my thighs. Mm, must be the holidays when they whip out the fancy mushrooms here for $13. I've actually have re-fallen in love with mushrooms. Wow, are they amazing or what? You guys know I'm always a huge fan of the croissants. They also have some mini cran orange biscone, $7 for that. And, oh, if you've never had these, <laughs> I don't know if I recommend them. Uh, we ate them all in one sitting and they are massive. They are $7 for cinnamon rolls. Already cooked, already iced. You just have to warm them up. Dangerous right there, that's dangerous. Equally as dangerous. But this is seasonal, $9.99 for all of this peppermint bark. I got a peppermint stick for old Saint Nick. All right, let's move on. <laughs> oh my gosh, what the heck? I've never seen this before. Chocolate chunk peppermint loaf, $8. Oh, wow, we got a peppermint loaf. Hold on, I see a cookie party happening over here. What is this? Costco, the festival of cookies. Holiday cookie tray, $9.99 for all of these cookies. It would take me all afternoon to make five different style cookies. And here at Costco, all you have to do is spend $10. <laughs> I don't, I mean, okay, uh, okay. <laughs> We're hosting, we're hosting something tomorrow night. I feel like that's a good treat. Okay, pecan pie, oh my gosh, you guys some of the best stuff I've ever had in my life. $15, and you don't even have to make it yourself. You spend $15 on straight pecans, let alone the time and energy it takes to make a pecan pie. Apple pie is only 10, ayo. It is a feast today at Costco. These are chicken skewers, but I've been like crumbling them. Breakfast sausage, haven't had those yet. And I don't know, some Thai chicken down here. It's gonna be delicious. This is why I have a Costco membership. <laughs> okay, my nose, my eyes brought me here, but my nose is bringing me here. Are you kidding me? Okay, I'm gonna abandon my car in a second. It's too hard to push around. $20 for a 28 inch mixed wreath. This is a wreath? You guys, this is fresh. Oh, is this fresh? And then they have red cedar and white pine garland. 
Yeah, man, I think I'm gonna come home with some of this. 25 feet for $20. Hold up. Check this out, $38 for an island pine. It's 12 feet, is that right? Yeah, that doesn't smell as good as the wreaths. And then they have a Christmas cone. What is this, rosemary for $25? Cool, all right, let's get back to my cart. Love that they have this. It's a tapas platter. Oh my gosh. Okay, take my money, Costco. Did you know they sold nog? How much is this? It's uh, 64 ounces of eggnog for $4.49. Oh my word, do you need a gift for your pet? This is, I guess, a pet bed for $33. A faux fur pet mat, love that. Hold on, and then I see these, oh my gosh. Executive dog, $16 for a four pack of dog toys. Gourmet vanilla beans, straight from Madagascar. You get five of them for $16. What a day to be alive. All right, hold on, we got pizzas all the way across the board. Their lasagna is some of my favorite, especially the Italian sausage and beef. You get two of them for $15, full of gluten, full of cheese, so we can't do that anymore. But this makes life worth living. This is the dream right here, $14. How many do you get in there? Three pizzas? Oh my gosh, I'm drooling. Sad, sad, sad. <gasps> they do have a gluten-free, amen to that. And they do have a cauliflower crust, which is actually supreme. Costco's getting fancy on us. White truffle flavored olive oil. I know that's fancy. It is $23.50. You guys know I have fallen in love with the Kinder's seasoning. They have a, oh, here it is. Let's get a close up of it. The buttery steakhouse. Oh my gosh, I can almost taste it. $7 for all of this. There he is, Kinder himself. Unfortunately, there is milk in it. So I grabbed a few more uh, seasonings to try out. But I love how Costco sells this humongo thing of cinnamon sticks. You got a cinnamon stick for old Saint. <laughs> it's getting out of hand. Ha if you guys have never stirred your hot cocoa with a cinnamon stick, I feel like you're missing out on one of the purest joys in life. Highly recommend it. These are $5.89 and you get a ton if you have ever questioned your sanity, you have probably tried one of these dried organic garlic, sea salt and seasoned real garlic. It's freeze dried garlic, you guys. It looks like a little puff, like, oh, you're gonna eat something delicious. Nope, it's not. But if you're looking to add more garlic into your diet, because I know it does add a lot of value in a lot of different ways, $9 for all of that. It's nice and crunchy. I'm sorry, how beautiful does that cart look? Uh, but really the background is beautiful. The cart is okay. <laughs> finally home from Costco. I say finally, it's starting to get dark outside, but you guys know that means nothing. It gets dark at like 4 p.m. nowadays. Feels like midnight, yet it's not. We're actually, good news, we're going to one of our cousin's house. They're having a birthday party, so I don't have to cook dinner tonight. They're serving, uh, I don't know what food. They, they just said, we'll have food. And I said, great, we'll be there. We'll be there with bells on. I'm home. I went to Costco, went to Publix. I'll share a grocery haul with you. The only dinner I have planned, I should have meal planned, but you guys, I mean, it's like, hi, have we met? Nice to meet you. So the only meal I have planned are mushrooms and zucchini out on the flat top grill. I don't know what that thing is called, but we had it the other night. Oh my gosh, drooling chef's kiss it's so good i could eat it every single night of my life so good so let me show you everything else i got i don't know what kind of meals i'm gonna make the usual eventually i'll get settled in and make a what's for dinner video for now i'm just going over the staples like easy peasy recipes and stuff so let's start off over here we have mushrooms a ton of mushrooms baby bella Normally one pack, I'm like, oh my gosh, can't get through this, but we ate an entire container last night. No regrets, oh my gosh. Also, pretty sure mushrooms are the only food that you can get vitamin D from. That's the only one, so if you don't like mushrooms, then you're out of luck, you have to get it from the sun or from a vitamin like Ritual. <laughs> I'm just saying, okay. We have some cucumbers right here. I like to serve these with, <gasps> wait. Don't be suspicious, don't be suspicious, don't be suspicious, don't be suspicious. 
My nail polish is looking a smidge crusty. There's nothing new about that. It's been like a second since I painted them. So I figured we'd get a little festive and have a little candy cane pointer. I thought I had a skeleton hand and I actually looked back at a clip because that someone sent me on Instagram randomly. It made me laugh, so I hope it makes you laugh too. Candy cane isn't as funny as a skeleton hand, but we'll get on. Okay, so cucumbers. What I do with these, chop them up and serve them to my family. <laughs> I chop them up and serve them to my family <laughs> with feta cheese and Italian dressing. Oh my gosh, to die for. Actually, not to die for, but it's good and it's a vegetable, right? Also grab some blueberries. These are fantastic, mostly because uh, they're delicious, right? Well, actually, <laughs> you know what? I was reading memes. You guys know that's basically my life. I share meme Monday on Instagram, but I saw one that was like something along the lines of blueberries are unpredictable. You eat one and sometimes it's mushy or it's too sour or it's too juicy or not juicy enough. And every now and again, you get one that's just right. But chocolate, good every time. Or Doritos, good every time. You know what I mean? You get the point of it. Anyway, I grabbed two things of strawberries. Uh, oh my gosh, we are hosting, wow. I'm like two items in, haven't showed you anything. So Sunday we're having people over two twice in a row. <laughs> so like brunch-ish, morning-ish. So I'm gonna throw together like some fruit and then maybe some other things too. You'll see as we go through. And then in the afternoon, it's the football game. So we're having some people over. So we're going to be serving even more. So I'm not even sure how much, how long this is going to last me. I'm hoping longer than uh, it's gonna probably last me a day. I, so I grabbed some grapes. So one for tomorrow morning and then one for us through the week and never lasts a week. Vegetable pad thai. Oh my gosh, have you ever been through the freezer section and seen what they serve? Everything I feel like has gluten and or dairy. It's delicious, yes it is, but not very good for my kids. Someone brought to my attention that someone wrote on my Thanksgiving cook with me. Why are you cooking gluten free? It's not a trend. Oh, trust me, I don't want to cook, cook gluten-free things. It, they're not very good, but my kids have allergies. <laughs> what am I supposed to do? <laughs> I'm just trying to make life enjoyable for them, okay? They're gluten-free, they're dairy-free. We're just doing our best. Not all of the kids, but half of them, okay? Sweet and tangy sauce. It looks really good. It's rice noodles. I didn't, oh my, oh man, oh man. I did not read the instructions, so I don't even know. Dang it, shoot me in the face. Egg, fish, milk, and wheat. Well, I guess I will be eating that then, okay? It looks really good. I thought, ooh, a good simple lunch or whatever to keep in the freezer. Well, turns out it's no good. How did I uh, come over here? I just wanted to show you the healthy stuff first. Chicken skewers, this was actually a sample, you guys. Oh my gosh, I've never had them before. I saw them and they're pretty pricey for what they are. It's just ready to eat meat. It's pre-cooked and all that good stuff. It's seasoned to perfection. It is so delicious. So I said, you got me, Costco. You got me with your free samples. I got a pineapple. Isn't this cute? It like tapered up top. I thought, how long do you think this guy took to grow? Three years? or more, I don't know, love it. Remember when I grew a pineapple? It was like this big, the best pineapple I've ever had though. I grabbed some onions because we're out of them. I did grab a couple of Kinder's seasonings and this is the steak blend and this is just salt, pepper, and garlic. And I think I'm out of garlic, I can't find it, I don't know. The other day I went to use powdered garlic and I couldn't find it. Um, bananas, well, it's not a surprise because I literally can't find anything in my pantry. We're gonna have to clean that eventually. Maybe after the holidays when I can find two seconds to do something productive. I grabbed a bag of Gala apples, great price at Costco. And then behind the apples, I grabbed two boxes of Madras lentils. Yes, there is dairy in those. Oh, sad, sad, sad to report. However, it must B in a very small amount. I haven't read the ingredients yet, but Avelina eats it all the time. I figured, oh, you know what? She's doing okay with that, and I'm gonna read the ingredient list. Also, everyone else enjoys them too, so I don't have to justify. Hashtag justified. Hey, you see those heavenly hunks up there? Justify that purchase because they are delicious. The heavenly hunks, they're so good. Can't rave about them enough, and Costco has them for a pretty good price. Oh my gosh, speaking of that jingle jangle, holiday mingle mix. This would be great on a hot cocoa uh, bar. I always keep saying that. What is it called? Hot cocoa, what is it called? 
like a charcuterie board, a board. Hot cocoa board, oh my gosh. Or it would be good just in my belly. I might hide it under my bed and just eat it late at night when the kids are going to bed. Oh, speaking of something I'm gonna eat on my own. So I was checking out and these, whatever they are, holiday cookie tray. The cashier said these were to die for. I said, ooh, thanks for the tip. I'm gonna take them out and save them for myself. It's just an assortment of cookie trays. $10 for all of these. I figured I can put this on a hot cocoa board or whatever, just a dessert board, and people would go ham for them. Excited about it. Something I'm gonna put out tomorrow are these spinach artichoke uh, dip and spread. I have a lot of crackers left over from Thanksgiving, so I'm just gonna throw that out there. And then probably throw this chicken salad out there too. I'm not even sure what's in it or if it's good. I have had from Costco before the, hold on, let's get this up here, okay? Chicken salad that they put in the croissants, and it is great, it is great. I almost got some croissants, but then I thought, oh, my poor kids are, because they can't eat any of this. I'm gonna have to make them something special. Anyway, I got these for tomorrow and also to eat, just cantaloupe, man. I also got some mangoes. I was feeling around, trying to feel if they were nice and, and ripe, okay? Because sometimes I get mangoes from Costco and they are hard for three weeks, and then as soon as I think, oh, I can cut it, it's like molded on the inside. <laughs> on the outside, it's still hard as a rock. So I don't know. It's hit or miss from Costco when it comes to mangoes. I grabbed this spinach egg white frittatas. I figured I'd just warm these up and throw these out tomorrow for brunch-ish too. I don't know. I feel like it's a good portable thing to eat. And then I grabbed the gluten-free bread. This is great. Reminder to throw it in your freezer or fridge when you after you open it. But this brand in general, pretty good. The kids enjoy it. Ah. Uh, for, these are for tomorrow too. These were a sample. These are not good, but I think, I feel like if you put them in the microwave and warm them up a little bit, then they might be good. <laughs> so I'm gonna test it out tomorrow. And if not, how many are in here? I feel like there's like a hundred in here. There's gonna be a lot of kids here tomorrow morning. They can just gozzle them up. And then I have some sweet potatoes. These are just great. My kids love sweet potatoes. I almost forgot how much they love sweet potatoes until I made them the other day and they were like loving them. So I figured I might as well buy some more for them. I've got some heavy whipping cream. I'll either serve this, I don't know, in my hot cocoa because it's delicious or breakfast with strawberries. Oh my gosh. Oh, this is mostly for me because I was like, ah, oh, stinking love whipping cream, okay? Heavy, the heavy variety. I also grabbed these tortilla chips. These are great. We like to make, I don't know, like ground turkey with taco seasoning and then just pour it over some chips. It's always a good time. Or they can use the chips for like the dips that I bought and stuff. These, oh boy, do I have a story to tell about these. Oh my gosh, I didn't even show you the, hu the huge haul as a whole. That's okay. We're moving on. Lightly breaded chicken breast chunks. A hunk of chunk, but chicken style. So for Eleanor's birthday party, I ran to Costco and I said, I need to buy myself some hunk and chunks. These have gluten in them, so I don't typically buy them. But Wentworth has a birthday party growing up. Growing up, yep. And I, for Eleanor's party, bought a huge tray from Chick-fil-A. And these are like Chick-fil-A style. They taste just like Chick-fil-A. It's crazy, I don't know how they do it. Anyway, so I bought a bunch for the party. It was $60, yes, $60 for a tray of 120. This whole bag is $13, it's massive. It's 64 ounces. At Publix, a bag a quarter this size is $10. It's crazy, so I don't recommend buying these unless you get a good price on them at Costco. Uh, but they are delicious and I highly recommend because they're absolutely 10 out of 10, uh, five stars would recommend. Soft and chewy granola bars and then I got the chewy protein bars. Uh, these are mostly for Wentworth because he loves granola bars. Also they have dairy and wheat in them so I don't know. It's just something that I can throw in there in his lunches and for the girls I've been buying the Cascadian Farms vanilla because that is dairy free which is nice. I grabbed a lot of drumsticks I plan on cooking a lot on the grill these coming weeks because once you pop, the fun don't stop. And we popped it the other night and it was a good old time. Everything tastes delicious on it. It's our first time we've ever had a propane grill. What a treat, I'll say that. I do miss that char flavor though. Okay, I got, what is this? Chicken thighs, two packages of chicken thighs. 
I'm, I've been completely out, I think, of chicken thighs. I actually got some from Publix the other day and they were frozen, but like individually frozen, which was pretty nice. So I do have some of that in the freezer, but I like to have this on hand, Costco style. Wentworth went to a birthday party today, it was so much fun. Uh, what is this, hot dogs? because why not, I don't know. And then pepperoni. For lunches, I like to do like cheese crackers and pepperoni. Wentworth really enjoys that. It's like a homemade Lunchable, but more affordable. And then I got two packs of these bacon strips. <laughs> it's bacon, so good. They're fully cooked, you just have to heat them up. The kids like it for breakfast, and I'll probably serve a whole pack tomorrow for breakfast. Okay, moving over here. This is the stuff I got from Publix. So I got some cleaning stuff. Some soft scrub for the toilets. I don't know. It's been a while since I've used like over the toilet hangers. Uh, so we're gonna try that out. They had a deal going at Publix. If you spend $50, you get a $10 off $50 gift card. So I did that. So save $10 on our gas for a little bit, you know. I do this every time they have an opportunity to do it, every time they offer the coupon, which is pretty regularly. So yeah, $50 right there for gas, but I spent $40 on it. Get glass cleaner. You know what, I see all the cleaning gurus clean their windows with this glass clean, well I don't know if they use spray away, but they have like a spray glass cleaner and it looks so fancy, I'm like streak free shine, does it keep the streaks away? I don't know. Does it keep fingerprints off? That's what I need. And then I grabbed this, they did not have, my favorite is the Windex. My absolute favorite is, I because because Alex is like, we don't have any glass cleaner and we have all, all these uh, windows to clean, you know? And I said, oh, I just used my Norwex rag. One of my friends sent it to me like four years ago and I love it. I use it on mirrors, I use it on windows and you just use water. So I have not had to buy any of this. Anyway, he really wanted some, so there we go. I went above and beyond. Speaking of going above and beyond, they had Swiss Miss non-dairy what is this hot cocoa buy one get one free you people so i got four of them i should have grabbed six or eight that's how much i love hot chocolate lately uh that's mostly for the kids and alex and then i got some dairy free ready whip it's like um whipped cream but non-dairy perfect it's coconut milk you can make it yourself if you have cream uh coconut cream in a can totally easy just add a little bit of sugar to it delicious and then ranch dip for some veggies tomorrow. And then this was buy one, get one free too. So $5, I got two containers of powder. You guys, I'm not lying when I tell you I'm obsessed with hot cocoa lately. Stir it with a cinnamon stick. I promise you it'll change your life. It changed mine. <laughs> I'm never going back. I got some oat milk. I got some almond milk. And I've been really craving these burritos, which is semi scaring me because I typically only crave them when I'm pregnant. Hashtag I'm not pregnant, but that's when I, I typically want like the cheap burritos. They're so good. And you know what I think it is, you guys? I have not meal prepped anything since we've lived here. And every day I'm like, what am I gonna eat for lunch? I don't know. So this will help me out in my quest to uh, fill the hole, if you will. All right. One night for dinner, I'm just gonna make some tofu uh, and then some like veggies and rice and stuff. So I, this was buy one get one free. So I said, okay, cause tofu is pretty expensive for what it is. Um, but it's teriyaki marinade. So I said, yes please. Oh my gosh, one of my favorite things. This is back to Costco again. I got, oh, it's a sad day when you get a crack in the egg, okay? Three cartons of eggs. Oh wow, that one's cracked too. Great, you know what it is? When I was loading the car, I flopped the cantaloupe over them and I bet that's when that happened. Okay, moving on to the Mediterranean tapas. This they only, Costco only has this for like, I don't know, the holidays. It's so good. I don't know what that is. Is that, I feel like I would need to crack into this right the heck now and eat every single thing in it. This is not for my family. This is simply for me, okay? Hands off of the tapas. I got a lot of zucchini because I love zucchini. I love it extra when it's grilled. The thing about our old grill was that it was this big and we can only grill like two zucchinis at a time because I like to slice them up and it would take like, I don't know, 30 minutes. So I'm so happy that we have this like flat top. It is so delicious. It really is. Yellow mustard, we've been out of it for months and I love mustard. I still eat mustard and chips. It was something I used to eat from high school and I would just eat it watching Rachel Ray thinking, 
Will anyone ever love me? <laughs> Will anyone ever accept me because I'm so gross and I eat chips and mustard? Come to find out. I think some people eat chips and ketchup. Totally fine. No big deal. Okay, we all have the, that thing that we eat. Uh, I got some broccoli. I got celery sticks, paid an arm and a leg for those. I got some carrots, some, what is this thing? It is a, not a cabbage. It's a cabbage. Ooh, and I love Thai, pad Thai. Nope, <gasps> wait, I thought I got pad Thai sauce as well. Must be in a bag somewhere. I think I got pre-made pad thai sauce and I also got some curry paste. Love curry, so simple to make. Easy weeknight meal. Uh, green onions, I got a lot of ketchup. And then two bags of these classic mix uh, potato chips. Some of, this is dairy free, this is dairy free, and these are dairy free. The rest are just delicious, okay? 60 bags of that. Hopefully it'll keep people happy, but I doubt it. Moving on to the meal prep portion of the video, I wanted to share this super simple, easy marinade with you. It's one of my all time favorites. I threw in a bunch of drumsticks. We're gonna throw them on the grill. And I just dumped, since I have so many drumsticks in there, a whole large bottle of the Olive Garden Italian dressing. Oh my gosh, it's amazing. And then probably close to a cup of the honey and a bunch of limes and lime juice. I squeezed them out. I shared it all on my Instagram, but basically that's it. You don't even have to measure, just dump, dump, dump. No big deal. If you're making a normal portion, quarter cup of honey will probably do, maybe a quarter cup of lime juice as well. I just think it is absolutely delicious and you won't regret making it. You don't need a grill for it. You can use your George Foreman grill. You can cook that crap in your oven, probably even on your stovetop. Make the marinade. It's good. It's a good, it's one of my favorites. I make it all the time. I'm moving on to chopping up some fruit. I told you guys we were having brunch the next day. We had, um, I mean, it's kind of a long story, isn't it always? We had some people over in the morning. We normally have soccer practice at a park, at a local park, but we have the bounce house here for the for our birthdays so we rented it out for an extended period of time so we got a deal on it so since we had it we were like oh we might as well invite people over to our house um one of our friends has done that before so we thought okay it's a good opportunity so we did that and I'm, i decided to serve brunch for them so there it is short story long so i'm just cutting up some fruit for that i have cantaloupe and then we're gonna move on oh first of all great cantaloupe. Sometimes Costco fruit is hit or miss for me. The last cantaloupe I bought from Publix, I feel like it looked good, but it smelled horrible. So there's that. I don't know. It's like, it's just hard. It's hard picking out fruit. <laughs> when you think you have a good one, you don't. And then sometimes when you think you don't have a good one, it turns out to be really good because I thought these were going to be too hard, but they were perfect. Okay, moving on. I'm washing cherries and grapes now. The easy way I'm doing things, grapes, I just decided to plop them into a serving tray. Just makes it easy on me. It takes, you know, some time off of me. There's Meredith. She's my little shadow. She's always following me around. And, oh my gosh, the cutest thing. She always wants to be, you know, in my business, in what I'm doing. That's how they learn. So even from a young age, she would always grab the stool <laughs> and just move it wherever she needs it. It did get her in trouble a few times because in the old house, she would move it around and she'd be able to climb up on the counters and then get into all the cupboards and get into whatever she wanted, mainly my stash of treats. But um, yeah, here, I don't even think she could reach that on the counter. I can't even reach it really with a stool. I just thought that was really cute that she grabbed the stool. And then of course, while I'm doing the cherries, I elicit her help. This one, I had to get some of the pits out by myself. That pit machine or whatever you want to call it, cherry pitter, is from Amazon. Someone sent it to me several years ago. I say several, but really it's been a few years at least. I love it so much. You pit six cherries at a time. It is such a time saver and I would definitely recommend it. But for whatever reason, I think these cherries were so large that they weren't pitting all the way. I mean, like they were loose, but some of them were still just in there. That's why I cut them in half. One, because it's a choking hazard to have like a full cherry. Her, like Meredith staring into the camera. 
She's such a cutie patoo, I swear. She was so distracted by looking at herself. She didn't put the cherry in the right spot, but it makes me laugh when she stares down the camera like that. I definitely had her help me. She was peeling off the stem and sticking the cherries in there. She's so cute. Always life's teachable moments. Isn't that right? Life is a classroom. One of my favorite quotes from traveling. We ran into someone and that was his like whole thing. Any, anyway, so <laughs> what was I talking about? Cherries, the cherry pitter. It is a great time saver. I used to have the cherry pitter that was kind of like a shooter. Uh, anyway, I lost it one day and I thought, oh, surely it'll turn up. Nope, never turned up. So I have no clue where it went. I must have brought it somewhere with me, like to a gathering with chair. And I just, who, who the heck knows? Because I do not. Anyway, I'm just pitting cherries. Oh, that's what I was saying. I cut them down the middle. One for a choking hazard. Two to ensure that I get the pit out of the cherry. No one wants to bite into a cherry thinking that they're, they've been pitted only to find that they in fact still have the pit intact. Am I right? Oh my gosh. Do any of you think of, because whenever I eat cherries, I always think of this one episode of Sex in the City where she's eating cherries and she just has like her little bowl. She has like two bowls, one for the pits and one for, and I was like, wow, man, talk about the woman across the room because when I eat cherries, it looks like a bloodbath. <laughs> okay, moving on to these little, they're not muffins. What are they? Frittatas. Oh, perfect. I did not know they were individually wrapped, so I had to unwrap them. But also when I put them out for brunch, a few people were like, oh my gosh, these are so good. Did you make them? I don't know if they were just trying to make me feel good because they thought that I made them. And I absolutely took credit for that. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I told them, no, man, I got them from Costco. They're great. First of all, do you want it ready in 45 seconds in the microwave or 18 minutes in your oven? These are the decisions you have to make. Do you have time or do you want a quality result? Because <laughs> I feel like it always comes out better in the oven. But if you're in a time crunch, like, what is that? Eight, 45 seconds? <laughs> Come on. How can you beat that? Definitely, if you're just making one at a time, I would do the microwave. Uh, but yeah, needless to say, I just wanted to share that they were really good. And then these cinnamon rolls, I just threw them in the microwave. I threw the whole uh, like pie dish in there. That's what I ended up serving them on. And I want to say I put them in for like a minute and a half just to warm them up a little bit. They weren't like hot uh, but they weren't cold, Goldilocks style, okay? Everything turned out really well. I just threw some stuff on the table and then, oh, I threw in some croissants because we had those. I thought I got, you know, me rolling them out. They're just the refrigerated Pillsbury kind, but um, I didn't, I never served them for Thanksgiving. So I had them left over and I thought, well, why not? <laughs> also, the spread that I had out, someone, uh, a few people also brought other things, so... We definitely had more than we bought. Okay, here's the spread I have out. Just people are done playing soccer. Now they're on the bounce house and just roaming around. So, uh, oh, did I give you a good shot of the spread? I was looking with my eyes. <laughs> Here it is. Ooh, like a little brunch, if you will. These egg bites, I'll give you a review on them, but I just uh, cut up some fruit. I microwaved these. They are not good otherwise. I mean, they're fine, but definitely heat them up a little bit and they'll be even better. I had some of these left over from Thanksgiving. We can't eat them. I mean, we could eat them, but I don't want to like serve them to my family and then be like, oh, Abelina, Eleanor, you're excluded. So hopefully people gozzle these up. Yep, gozzle, it's a new word. I say it all the time when I mean to say gobble. So there's that. Oh, also <laughs> I threw in, cause I was like, oh, what should I put up? Maybe come in, we're awesome. Cause we have a sign that says that. So I decided Wi-Fi password was probably more important. But that is it. Thank you guys so much for watching and hanging out, shopping with me at Costco, watching, seeing all the food that we're gonna make. Don't forget to check out Ritual. Uh, my link is in the description box below. The ritual.com slash the wads 10 to get 10% off of your first three months. If you're interested in getting some Ritual vitamins, they smell divine, no joke. Okay, thanks again for hanging out. If you want to subscribe, put a little happy in your day. I'll see you next time. Bye.